Uh, we have the two doomed men, Mike and Chris. They should be calling in just about any moment now. They're going to just be doing some beer reviews, Kevin Willett. Do I know them? Uh, I don't know. If if you're not paying attention to the dot com, well, then fuck you, Kevin Willett. I mean, if you... No, I mean, if I met them. Have they met me They're more from, specifically? Well, well, Chris is coming into town in two weeks. Um, and we're going to do a whole thing. We're going to do a fire and a cookout and the whole nine yards. And, and yes, you'll be able to meet Chris for the first time. So I'm just trying to determine whether or not these guys dislike me, whether or not I've embarrassed myself with the alcohol no, not even close in yet. front of them. No, oh, they're, they're, new, they're newbies. I and, can't wait uh, to meet them. They do a terrific YouTube show. They, uh, they do a lot of uh, the Marvel and uh, they do a lot of uh, reviews, Funko Pop reviews. They do some beer reviews. Uh, they're all they're all around good guys. Um, they're actually on the line. I believe we have the two doomed men here on F Bomb Friday. Mike, Chris, how are you? Yes, sir. We are good. How are you guys doing over there? What's going we're, on, guys? We're doing wonderful cussing for a cause tonight, and uh, we just checked in with. We've got all sorts of hotlines ringing here tonight. Uh, once again, before we throw it to these guys, you can make a donation online at 990 WBOB's F Bomb Friday page. The link is right there on the dot com. Of course, you know that because you're listening. Uh, you can follow us on social media for all the updates and more. Mike and Chris, I believe you guys got a nice little care package from the Bobhead uh, this week that had uh, some fine, tasty Buttonwoods brews that you guys are going to review right now for the guys that are down sitting there playing some cornhole. Yes, we are. Uh, thank you guys for sending us this beer. Thank you guys for letting us join you and uh, work for this cause together. So uh, we wish we could be at the brewery with you, but we could still drink with you guys. So let's get started, huh? Let's do it. So we're going to be starting off with the Buttonwoods Brewery Rhode Island Silver. And uh, let's see. I got the website up here, buttonwoodsbrewery.com. Big fucking, uh, you know, description here. I have to say Buttonwoods Brewery. Yep. A whole two lines. Yeah. Farmhouse Ale Sison, 6 ABV, lagered Sison, dry hopped with Mandarina Bavaria. Right, so so now listen, I, I hate to, to interrupt you, but I have to correct you because you you went after Morgan, and, and I love you for doing that for the description. There is no description, but it's Saison. And that, right. that, now let me tell you about this, this dirty, bearded, cut-off gene hippie. He'll, and we love him as a sponsor, Buttonwoods Brewery, the official brewery, but he'll come at you for the mispronunciation of Saison. So I'm on, I'm on Team Two Dude Men, so I, I, <laughs> I just wanted to jump in with that. Well, I'm glad you corrected me because yeah. this is like the 10th or 15th Saison <laughs> that we've drank, and I've been mispronouncing them every time, and no one said a word, yeah. so thank you. All right, well. Crack them. Oh, that fucking sounded great. All right, let's see here. Give us a quick second to pour. It's a nice color. We have drank a lot of these uh, Sisons, like I said yeah. before. And uh, one of the problems that we've been having with some of these. A lot of head. Yeah, well, yeah, that's not a problem we've been having, to be honest with you. But one of the problems we've been having with these beers is a lot of them taste almost exactly the same. Are you going for a little a pre-sip there? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I had what a pre-game it. I had a pre-game it. I got excited. All right, I feel you. So we're hoping that uh, the Button Buttonwoods guys here give us something a little bit differently from yeah. the other ones that we've tasted so far. Well, I fucked that bar up, as usual. So I'm going to go straight out of the can here for our <laughs> first sip. What do you think? And just let that let Yeah, that let head, it simmer. Uh, this is pretty darker than what we usually drink, so I think it might be a little bit different. It'll cheers. be enjoyable. Cheers to F-Bomb Friday. Mm. Now there's no... it's. There's no what. It's not the citrusy that we've been drinking a lot of. This is completely different. That this is actually you, really good. This is better than... You sure you ain't just saying that? What? You sure you ain't just saying that? No, because <laughs> I've been tired of all the citrus, you know, mm. pi everything, pineapple, all that stuff. This is like a completely different flavor in a different direction. 
and I could sit around and drink this much more than I can some of those citrus ones. Yeah, I agree with you. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Voodoo Ranger style beer. I don't know. Little, yeah. I've never had a Buttonwoods before. I know. Um, this I is also the first it. forever. It's good. I like it. Yeah. No, this is definitely a – it's not crushable, but it's very enjoyable and Much it uh, is. Come on, you gotta give me a, you gotta give me a solid score here. All right, live I'm here, giving, bro. I'm giving live an eight because I like the packaging, but I don't know how much a six pack's gonna cost. You know, so you, I always take into account price and stuff. But well, this, these are free. They're free yeah, ninety nine. Well, free so, nine. You know that that always uh, enhances the taste yes. of anything. When you get free food, it always tastes thousand yeah, times. Yeah, it does. And this beer, that may, that's maybe why I'm enjoying it so much as well. But I could sit around and enjoy this. What do you think? Would you give it an eight? Yeah. I think I'm gonna give it a nine. It's uh, it is it it tastes similar to these. How, how do we pronounce it again? The Sessans. Sessans. It does taste a little similar to ones we've had in the past. Um, I think I've given most of those sevens, um, but I'd say this one probably was ahead of of those other yeah. one previous ones we've had. So I'll give this one a nine, definitely. It's really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I really fucked up my pour big time though here, <laughs> and the uh, the head still hasn't gone down, but it's still good at, regardless. Anyway, I have uh, we have our really cool f bomb Friday glasses yes, here. Yes, thank you guys. These are fucking awesome. Yes, cheers, cheers sir. So for f bomb Friday, if you guys are listening, we're trying to raise money for cancer, and if you go and check out our Instagram account at two do men underscore podcast, our link tree, our link to our link tree account is right there. Click that and the top button. It sends you directly to the Fundly page for F Bomb Friday, and you could donate right there. I was grabbing the next ones. Yes. Um, let's clean the palate here. What do you think? You want to just dive into the next next beer here? This is going to be interesting because uh, me and the captain here, we usually drink the same beer every yeah. time. Uh, we've never done a review where we drank two different beers. Uh, we've drank two different beers millions of times in our lives, but we never reviewed two different beers. Which one you got? I got a Mexican lager, so yeah. I'm kind of excited. I, I like got, tequila. So. Yeah, I got object permanence here. I kind of just grabbed whatever it's, the first thing is, that was in my hand. This is, I'm sorry, it's Mex on the Beach, a Mexican lager. Trying to wash a pallet down with some water. Uh, so let's go up to, let's start with Mex on the Beach. That is what I have. Lager Pale, 4.8% ABV. Mexican style lager brewed with agave. I do like agave. So yes, I do too. Kind of and it's a pale, so I'm probably gonna like it that much more. Yeah, you're a big pale, pale yeah. ale guy. Mm -hmm. And I again have object permanence in IPA American, uh, six point eight ABV IPA with citrus. So I got the uh, the stronger one. So I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna be getting a little fucked That's up. That's not tonight. fucking fair. On F bomb Friday. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I really like the way this can looks. The mechs on the beach. It's you're on the beach. There's the ocean. <laughs> yeah, the design on on all the cans, honestly. Yeah, they're have. both. Yeah, Rhode the, Island the silver, silver and is these. actually very nice as well. That's an underrated thing, me and you have been saying with these craft beers. It's like you, in order to stand out, you have to have yeah. a good design on your can. Definitely. What's gonna What's gonna really sometimes make people choose? You know, your beer over another beer. Yeah. A cool design. You know, how many? I have, we have a beer up there that has like a skull on it. It looks pretty pretty fucking awesome. So that's always a big thing. So let's crack these open. Yes. Let's see what's the deal here. We're going to be doing these straight out of the cans. We're not going to uh, – oh, boy. I have a lot of foam coming out here again. I don't know what's going on, but I'm shooting foam everywhere tonight. All right. All right. Object permanence and mechs on the beach. Cheers, good sir, to F-Bomb Friday. Cheers. Fuck yeah. Want to go first? Ooh. No, nah, you had a better reaction. You go first. That was – that was good. <laughs> um, right off the bat, man, this is like a, like a milkshake. It's very, very smooth um, compared to the Rhode Island Silver, which kind of had like a little bite to it. This went down very smooth. This is, yeah, it's an IPA, 6.8. I mean, you could get fucking trashed on, <laughs> on these. A couple of them. Because they are going. this goes down so smooth. I could see like crushability here. Yeah. I could give this probably a 10. I could probably sit here and drink, you know, five to 10 of these during one episode maybe. 
They're really trying to, you know, get yeah, after it. Pedal to the metal. Um, mechs on the beach. Ugh. I'm a little disappointed. I like it. It's smooth. But there's there's just like this. Uh, Good. Science. It's all about it's science. Just, it's Dr. just Fauci. like the carbonation at the back end. Like it, it doesn't. There's not a lot of flavor to it. It's like it's light and it's like got agave in it, so it's a little bit sweeter and it's a pale. So there's no there's no big like blast of flavor like we had with the the Rhode Island mm-hmm. Silver. It's good. I can I'm going to enjoy this can. I'm going to drink the entire thing. But oh yeah, we're drinking everything tonight. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Do you want to give it? You want to take one more sip and then uh, give me your your ranking there, and I'll give you mine. I'm going with a six. Okay. It's a good size can. Uh, I wish there was maybe a little bit more alcohol in it so there could be more bite to it because I kind of feel like the agave makes it a little bit sweeter and just mm-hmm. you know goes down smoother. All right, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's just not my yeah. favorite thing. I hear you. Well, you know, you have to have a wide variety of flavors when you're a brewery. I'm gonna give this one more sip, and I got a hand to you. Uh, I gave this crushability a 10 i'm also <laughs> going to give it in terms of my overall overall rating a 10 this is probably one of the best beers we've ever reviewed that's awesome and uh you know you're shit out of luck buddy so yeah, yeah. it's all right i got the good one this is very good so, and, uh, so like I said mike and chris ahead. the two do men uh I'm, i've i've been listening with bated breath on each of them uh the yeah. the, uh, the mexican is now the new official beer of 990 wbob because mike sandoval our new station manager i'm not i'm not saying <laughs> anything i'm just not alleging anything but uh the saison <laughs>